All right, guys, let's talk about Deathstalker. Um, I'm actually surprised this boss doesn't seem nearly as bad as Gluttony when he first came out. Um, I do feel like this is going to be a situation where we're, again, some of the uh, better players are waiting for the rest of the community to catch up on mechanics and things like that and to perfect their builds. Um, I have been doing strictly matchmaking on this boss, and I managed to beat her on my third try. So, like I said, not nearly as bad as Gluttony. Um... One, a couple things I'm going to go over. First off, don't let these damage numbers fool you. If you look for first glance at this boss, you would think like, oh, glass cannon build for this boss would be perfect because you need super high DPS and she doesn't do that much damage. You don't need super high defense or health or anything like that. It That's a trait. Okay, this boss slaps. Not only that, but she has a mechanic where she takes the amount of HP you can have down. So if you have a really good shield build, if you have something with really good max shield and shield regeneration, things like that, you're going to want to get it out for this boss. I have a build I have kind of made shift with the mods that I already had assigned that has been working pretty well. I'll show you that later, but I'll go over the build that I actually used to get my clears first. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much green and everything. This DPS number, don't let it fool you. Uh, with Lepix 2, he actually does well over... A uh, million DPS. I went over that in another video. Um, so I'm not going to get too much into it. But this doesn't factor that in. Um, I, I checked it. Uh, so I've already proven that. Um, and so basically I use pretty much the same build I use to do. Well, actually, no. I use my full tank build. This build right here. I, As you can see, I only have two offensive um, mods. The rest of my mods are all pretty much defense hp toxic antibiotic perfect and anti venom is going to be really important her tick damage is kind of crazy um but yeah as you can see uh hp heal modifier incoming damage modifier incoming damage modifier hp heal modifier so it's all survivability uh the mechanics in this boss fight are crazy you're gonna have to be on point with your dodges when you're running around in the circles and things like that Again, like I said, if you have a really good shield build, pull it out. Um, here's the one that I've kind of made shift. Uh, just like I said, these were the mods that I had to work with. I didn't want to. I don't. I didn't really want to invest too much in a shield build for Lepi. If anybody has a really good shield build for Lepi, let me know. <laughs> Please give it to me. Um, but so far, as I've been trying this build out, I haven't gotten a clear with it, but I also haven't gotten downed with it. So. It's been pretty nice. Um, this is a pretty nice mod. Uh, converts 70% of HP recovered upon acquiring HP orb to shield recovery. That's really nice because, again, like I said, if you get hit by some of her attacks, she decreases your HP bar. So you can't hold nearly as much HP. So really, defense and shields are what I would say you want to build into this boss if you really want top-tier survivability. Again, this is the... Uh, full tank build this is the build that i i've gotten my clears on and then here's a build that just does it does way more dps because i basically have my two up unlimitedly uh but your survivability is not nearly as good so you know with a little bit more practice i'll probably start running this once i really get the dodges down and things like that um but anyway so let's go over i'll take you i'll try to get a good run where i can go over some of the mechanics and things like that and show you what i'm talking about oh yeah real quickly before i forget uh so reactor this is a weapon based build so uh really i'm only worried about my two so skill cooldown skill duration up perfect um i use the veteran set again for this build uh, firearm critical hit rate firearm attack weak point damage perfect for this um and then the, probably the most important thing is i have a gold toxin resist uh with also max shield so that that's nice um so yeah, that, that's what I use for my reactor set, uh, external opponent set. Huh? Why did I? Now I'm just making stupid mistakes. All right, this actually might be good. We got Eugene and an Enzo. So this might not be bad. God. Her aggro is crazy, dude. Mm. 
See, if you get hit by an attack, it decreases your health bar. I only have half a health bar. This sucks. When I'm fighting her, this is one of those bosses I, I mostly hit fire because she she attacks you with ghosts, basically. Like, you you literally will get hit. Like, you won't even know what hit you. Like, right there, I just got hit. Lost some more health bar. No clue what hit me. Uh, oh, again. But there's these little skulls she shoots out. And if you're scoped in sometimes, if you're up close to her and you're scoped in, you won't see the skulls chasing you. See them? You want to try to help your teammates out too. They're getting hit by them. Okay, so her mechanic's up. So you have to capture these circles. Let the healing begin. Powering shield at light speed. Capture those. No, no, no. Ah, oh, that's my boss playing way too close. She's with me and okay, so you wanna find you wanna find the total. You wanna crack it. You got solid over here, right? Where'd it go? We gone already? My teammates already crack it? Uh huh? Oh, it's over there now. Basically it's just another circle. There's two different circles. There's a clock circle. Which I think the clock circles lengthen the amount of time before she goes enraged. And then there's this totem circle. Why can I not revive this? Oh my god, I'm going to get blasted. And there's this totem circle. Oh my god, there's so many skulls. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I gotta get the f*** out of here. Get away from me. Okay. So we captured the circles. Back to DPS. I don't want to scope it in. That's really hard for me. I have to keep telling myself, like, don't scope it in. I got hit by something. I, I don't know what. I need ammo. Eventually, your health bar will come back if you manage to not get hit anymore. I'm, I'm getting hit. Damn. I don't even know what's hitting me. Like I said, she literally attacks you with like ghost. Like what is hitting me? Eventually you will get your health bar back. I think it's like a minute or two. Help your teammates. If you see those uh, skulls, shoot them for your teammates. Because they will creep up on you. They fly through walls and stuff, so you don't always see them coming. Which is why I said like I don't really like the ADS too much. It keeps my field of view bigger. Okay, I have my full health bar back now. So it's a, I think it's about a minute. You lose your health bar. And Eugen just healed me. Nice, nice. I get rid of these skulls. Shoot the skulls out. Okay, we're going to need to find the circles. Is that it? Yeah. Capture the circle. Oh. She slapped me hard. Oh, man, I need some health bad. I might get downed. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, did I not? I don't know if I broke the circle or not. She's still, yeah, she's still mean. Okay. We got to find another circle. Oh, my teammates are in it. Nice. Perfect. I'm going to grab health while they're striking her and ammo, actually. Perfect. Nope, they haven't cracked it yet. I'm an idiot. That's tough. Oh my god, that attack right there is so brutal, especially when you're capturing a circle. Dude, Eugen is clutch right now, baby. Holy shit, Eugen is so clutch. Shoot the skulls, try to kill them for your teammates too, if you can. Remember, look for the clocks. The clocks, I think they make they keep her from going enraged faster. They got that one. I'm going to run ahead and get this one. Actually, we might beat it right here. There you have it. Eugen and Enzo are clutch, dude. Oh my god. Really not bad. Um, 
not nearly as bad as gluttony once you know what to do i don't think she has a hard white mechanic which i love about this boss uh do i have a shape suit now nah, ah, i need my ultimate freighter code i love that about this boss that she does not have a white mechanic 